good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, treasure hunters destroyed the historical church of Kars. The Artsakh conflict must be resolved peacefully. Arad Mirzoyan, the withdrawal of military equipment in Artsakh is one of the long formulated demands of Azerbaijan side. Grand Melik Shah Nazarian, Ambassador Tigran Makarchan presented books on the history and culture of the Armenian people to the National Library of Greece. The heat has increased favorable condition for a 3,000 year old salt in mining Kamakhi. The book Escape from the Country, the Naira Pogos and Ruben Melkomian were published. The project Neshkars from Shirak's oral culture was launched. In the city of Kars in Western Armenia, treasure seekers destroyed the historic church. The church is located at the foot of Kars Castle. Unknown people destroyed the church's walls and dug it inside and around, breaking stones. Almost nothing remains on the walls of the church. We want to remind you that the 150-year-old church in Kars has been partially destroyed over the past few years. Western Armenia expresses its deep concern over the case, drawing the international community's attention. In the church of Western Armenia, this is not the only case when perhaps treasure hunters destroy Armenian cultures structures. On July 19th, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia, Arad Mirzoyan, who is on official visit on Warsaw, meet with Chairman of Senate of the Republic of Poland, Tomasz Grodzki. During the meeting, touching upon the humanitarian problems that arose as a result of the 44-day war, Minister Mirzoyan stressed the need for immediate release and repatriation of Armenian captives of war and civilians illegally held in Azerbaijan, as well as the protection of the Armenian historical culture and religious heritage in a church which had come under the control of Azerbaijan. It was stated that the Artsakh conflict should be resolved peacefully at the negotiation table. Remarks Grotsky expressed readiness to contribute to effort to achieve peace. Political scientist Rand Melik Shah Nazarian wrote, On July 16th, a three-hour meeting of Foreign Ministry of Armenia and Azerbaijan took place in Tbilisi. The statement distributed by the foreign ministers of two countries gave reason to believe that the parties were silent about real agreements, and the Secretary of the Security Council of Armenia said today that because of the war, the units of Armenian forces that entered Artsakh are returning to Armenia. But since, according to any information, there are no units of the area armed forces in Artsakh, and the demobilization of conscripts is not a reason for a political statement. It can be assumed that the topic under discussion is much more substantial than it may seem at a first glance. In this case, it can only refer to the disarmament of Artsakh. I am sure that any unit of air armed forces, this authority means the military equipment located in Artsakh, the withdrawal of which is one of the long formulated equipments of Azerbaijan side. Ambassador of the Republic of Armenia to Greece, Tigran Makarchan, visited the National Library of Greece and met with the director of Library Stavros Zumbulakis. Ambassador Makarchan, accompanied by the chairman of the library, got acquainted with the literature store there. During the meeting, the intro lecture stressed the importance of interlibrary cooperation, connects mutual visits, and exchange of experience. The parties discussed the prospects of holding joint events. Ambassador Makarchan presented a number of books on the history of genocide of Armenians and the history of culture of Armenian people to the National Library of Greece expressing hope that literature will take its rightful place in the National Library of Greece. It should be recalled that the Greeks living in Western Armenia also suffered from the genocide elections of Turkey. And today, Western Armenia is very positive about the contribution of friendly relations with Greece. The salt produced in a mine located 4 kilometers from the Kamakh province of Western Armenia meets the country's salt needs. The salt remaining in the pools after the evaporation of the water is collected with the help of the workers. The history of the salt mine is 450 years old. Salt production at the mine with an area of about 250,000 square meters has increased in recent days due to the temperatures above the seasonal norm. Kamakh salt produced under conditions of hard work is sold both in many cities of Western Armenia and outside the country's borders. What happened to the Armenians of Western Armenia who remained in the Ottoman Empire in 1915? What state policy has Turkey pursued towards them? What did happen that after 1920 the Soviet Union started the Kars and Sever treaties and seriously discussed the issue of the return of Kars and Ardahan from Turkey? A book was awaited especially by those who noticed the active work of Turkish historians in the archives. In the archives you can find documents and information about the genocide of Armenian survivors. Two Armenian Turkeologists work in detail and surreal in the archives. Why and how they decided come and stayed? The Armenians of Western Armenia and their descendants tell in the book. This book, first of all, is very important testimony for Western Armenia and the publication of such a book is welcomed. Thank you for the work thanks to which this book was published. 
within a framework of the grant program of Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of Republic of Armenia, preservation of the intangible cultural heritage, the Centers for External Cooperation and Public Relations of Nalbandian Shirak State University Foundation implements the program Neshkars from the Oral Culture of Shirak. The program provides for the collection of values of the intangible cultural heritage of Shirak region, the worship of bread, water and serious manifestation of today. Rituals can be found in different communities of the region. Those inhabitants migrating from different provinces of Western Armenia still keep them sacred. The main goal of the program is to contribute to the preservation of intangible cultural heritage, the implementation of cultural communication between generations and a transfer of the system of values. Now musical part Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.